Hello everyone and welcome. Uh, this is going to be a bit of an unusual video for me. Uh, I'm not actually doing a review here, but I am recording because I'm inside of a McLaren 720S and that doesn't happen all that often for me, so I'm super pumped about it. I've got the cameras rolling. Uh, I finished filming my video for Engineering Explained and I've got a little bit of extra time, so I thought I would just take it out and, you know, while I'm just having some fun with it, giving it a test drive here, why not keep the cameras on as well? This car is, it's just insane. I mean, the interior, you're kind of in this spaceship. It feels futuristic. It feels like that thing that like, as a kid, you want to desire. You want to have this as your supercar. You know, it's just such a cool interior. The engine is absolutely insane. You get this crazy whistle from it when you put your foot down especially when you let off there. I mean, the speed that this thing, oh my gosh. You see that air brake popping up? When that air brake does pop up, you can't see anything behind you. There's a piece of plywood in the middle of the road. Glad we went over it, not on top of it. You know what I mean? Like, didn't drive over it with the tires. Anyways, uh, this thing uses fuel like crazy. That is one thing I've noticed. Not that, you know, supercars shouldn't, but uh, I haven't been driving it very long. It says I've only got 65 miles of range and I've got three quarters of a tank. So yeah, that's what I mean when I say uh, it uses fuel like crazy. Hopefully I can get back home, you know what I'm saying? Unreal car. I mean, the way it looks is incredible. The way it drives, it's, it's so above my skill level and it shouldn't even be driven on a public road like to give it justice, but uh, I'm just super pumped to be in it right now. This is really special, really fun. <laughs> Let's see, what's, uh, what's up with this fifth gear nonsense? Let's put it in, oh, it's not in active mode. So now you press this active mode and then it changes things. You can press this button and it changes your display here. So you can either have it facing you or turn up and then you have more information, but you can have less information if you want pretty wild. Um, interesting that, you know, you can choose the top of it and it just gives you basically speed and attack. Uh, the AC dude is wearing a helmet, so that's how you know it's serious. But, man. Just, oh, there you can hear. Oh. Goodness. Yeah, I mean, this is certainly a car I'm not going to turn traction control off on. I, I don't know what I'm doing. And it's an open differential. An open differential that can hit 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds using only the rear wheels. That's insane. The brakes on this also, you know, a lot of people have mixed feelings about the brakes that I have read so far as far as it's, a, it's more of a pressure sensitive system. It doesn't have much travel at all. And the first time I got on the brakes, uh, it did not feel confidence inspiring at all. It got real squirrely. Uh, but I think it might have just been that the brakes were cold that first time I drove it out. Because ever since that, when I do put my foot down on it pretty firm, they seem to do a nice job of stopping. It is just unreal how fast this thing is. Gosh. It's such a dumb thing to say, but for a rear-wheel drive vehicle, it is crazy fast. And I don't even, honestly, I don't think, like, a lot of cars seem fast because they sound fast. And I don't think this car sounds that fast. I mean, you certainly hear a ton going on back there. And I do like the turbo sounds, but I don't think the engine sounds all that great. I think, you know, to be honest, Mercedes 4-liter twin turbo sounds better. But this thing pulls <laughs> so much harder than that uh, 4.0 twin turbo V8 in the Mercedes, you know, the GTs. Obviously, this is double the price or so. This is the... 720S, 710 horsepower. It is just, oh man, this car is so freaking fast. And those gear shifts. Listening to that turbo. The thing just pulls and it never stops pulling. Okay, there 
sure, you know, you can see that on the brakes there. It's a little unsure of itself. It, it kind of is hunting, you know, it's, it's choosing the grooves in the road and it's not taking this really nice easy flat path, uh, that high speed braking. So the high speed braking there did feel a little unsettling, uh, but this isn't the best road to exactly give it an unbiased opinion on what the braking is going to be like because the road is pretty rough. So. And you're probably just hearing engine sounds and being like, all right, Jason, I've had enough of this. It's fast and it brakes fast. It is unreal. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it off there. Just a quick little glimpse uh, driving this thing. I wanted to just have a few words because, again, you know, it's, it's a pretty special thing to be able to drive. So I was thrilled to do it. I, I did an experiment on how fast supercars shift, uh, which will be on the main channel. And then I just wanted to do a quick little feedback. But, you know, not everyone's into these supercar reviews, so I kind of just wanted to do a small little thing on the side uh, and post that on the secondary channel. Uh, but either way, uh, hopefully you check out the video about shifting. It was pretty cool. It was a pretty fun little thing to do. And this thing knows how to shift. That is certainly for sure. It is uh, very quick to shift. So thanks for watching. Questions or comments, of course, leave those below.